Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Or the third yeah, floor. Yeah, I got to say, go ahead, go, you can toss, go ahead, go. Two right trout. Up. One salmon medium, one seafood stew. This sells like crazy for lunch. People just love, you know, healthy, you know, potatoes, bring like potatoes, avocado. Well, shouldn't they know greens. that it's just sitting there in butter? You have a pork, you know, uh, a little bit of it's butter and olive oil. But it's healthy for you, you know, there's no, there's no heavy sauces on it. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Here you go, Francis. Go ahead. Good job. Have you changed the way you go about it because of what your diet? No, it's something I started doing with that, you know, because I tried to cut out all the fat in my life. I started doing that kind of stuff, you know. It worked. See, I gave it all to Brian. Brian no, why, why Brian, every Brian, time? Brian took all my fat. Every time, you know. Okay, I'm going to share. chicken salad. I'm going with a big salad. Anytime on a chicken salad, pick it up. Put the big salad up, please. Now look at that organized. Tell me about this. Well, we have our we have our terrace major. We have our pork loin. We have our chicken pyars. Marinated garlic. It's the same menu all day for lunch and dinner, right? Uh, no, we have some different things on for dinner, some for lunch. We're pretty, you know, with a brasserie, you kind of want to have, you know, a lot of similar things that people come back. They know they're getting them. You know, it's not like Marcel's where we're changing the menu all the time, we're just running a lot of specials here. A lot of different specials. But it's consistency here. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, this is the type of food that, you know, you want to eat on an everyday basis. You come and eat at Bex, you know, every day. You know? You're not coming for, you know, you're coming here to eat, eat good food. It's not like, you know, fine dining where you're going to Marcel's and, you know, you're going to... Yeah, it's a brasserie. You want to be able to come here and have a, you know, good wholesome food, French, Belgian, simple food. You know, a lot of a lot of classics. The food that we because do. that's what you're trained on. Yeah, the pot of food that we do here. That Brian and uh, tell Don me about Brian. Here, got coffee. Brian's executive chef here. Brian's been here how many years now? Five years. Yeah. Five years. I tried to steal him from the Four Seasons probably for five years, and then he finally, he finally gave in. And now he's been me for five years, and he's running the show here at, at the Rosary Beck. And who else do you have on the team here? I need about two and a half minutes on the What, for the chicken? Yeah. Yeah, be right up. Okay. Right up. I love this grill. Fine. Sir? I love this grill. It's hot. You can get it out. You can get it out. When does it kick in the gear over here? Well, so right the right now? now? Oh, right so now. Yeah, we'll start hopping. That's the muscle station over there where all the muscles and fries come out of. Of course, we do all our french fries. Sandwiches. What's up with the pork one? Pork that pork one is medium, it's on fire. Okay. Yeah, it's hot. You have a bread pudding in the oven? You think that's just a funny habit when y'all touch the top of that pork? How do you know that that's cooked? Well, you're touching it because by touch, no, and by time to touch, you can tell if something's at the right temperature. You know, you got to like either, you know, touch it with your finger, I like to use my finger, that way I know. And it's by the heat or by the way it feels? By the way it feels. And how long you've had it on there. That's why we, you know, there's a reason why we do the crisscross on it. You know that it's going to take so long to mark that. So if you mark it properly on each side, you know it's approximately taking two minutes to do each side like that. So it's eight minutes total of cooking. But it takes a little bit longer than that. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. You can give me that. All right, coming up, coming up. Yeah.
All right, I'll take that salad for these guys. Thank you. Oh, oh. Here we go. So the biggest thing people do is just chicken. And people you complain all the time about chickens is dry. People overcook it all the time. It's like one of the easiest things to cook, but people think you gotta cook the hell out of it, you know, until it's like drier than water. Well, aren't they afraid of salmonella? No. I think that, you know, that, you know, you just cook things too long. People always ask me, like, at Marcel's, you know, why, why is the chicken so good? So we don't overcook it. You know? And that's one of the problems with a lot of them. A lot of them just overcook it. There you go. Hey, Chef. Okay, pick up table two or three, please. Two or three. Two or three. Catch the pate. Swing the salad. All you please dust. I say clean, 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 force, clean, clean. Got to open up the Everything organized. See how the way we look at everything's at? Everything perfectly organized. You know, no bullshit. Walk, I hate walking in the kitchens where everything's, you know, not. You know, got everything, you know, marinated. You know, chicken breast. I mean, trout here. You know, everything comes in every day, we marinate it, and we put it out on the course. You sure am. Yep, that's all for the pot de feu and stuff with all the vegetables here. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. Pack valley carrots, pearl onions, peeled garlic, a little uh, uh, terrine. What are all we got in this now? Goat cheese and. Uh, it's a uh, bread pudding with. Uh, uh, Cabbage in it. Cabbage. Delicious. That goes on the pork. We got that ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Is it ready? Yeah, we're ready. How about the greens? Uh, I'll get come on, come on. Go in and get it. Come on, come on. Let's go. Should be ready. Should be ready. Ready to go. Simone, how are you? I'm doing fine since I'm warm in this kitchen. You know what, this is, this is, yeah. a, this is a, you know, a perfect sized kitchen for the amount of volume we do here. It's the cockpit. That's it. Cockpit. Francisco out here expediting. Uh, Francisco's at, at Marcel's expediting. Yeah. He's here with Brian expediting. He knows the food very well. He's been with us 11, 12, 12, 12, 12 years. 12 years. 12 so what do you think about Robert? <laughs> <laughs> they, they miss me. They miss me. I'm back in the saddle again. Yeah. That looks beautiful, that terrain. Does it have pork around it? Is that picking up the confit? Uh, yeah. No, not yet. Is it picking up the confit though? No, we're picking up a uh, pork loin with a lamb sandwich. Lamb sandwich, uh, lamb sandwich ready? about 40 seconds. Well, let's Taste try. everything? You have to. It's not cooking if you're not tasting it. That's really good. About three, four minutes. Hey, uh, Jack. You do a Okay, ordering, brush sprout, 
Go with the basso. Let's have one already called. Okay. Voila. Sauce. Sauce. Ready to go? Ready to go? Nice. There you go. Pork chop. Yep. Voila. Goodbye.